Hi, let's talk about the enzyme phosphofructokinase. So the enzyme phosphofructokinase carries out phosphorylation of fructose 6-phosphate to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Some phosphofructokinase uses ATP while the other uses pyrophosphate for this reaction. The phosphofructokinase that uses ATP are classified as phosphofructokinase 1, while the phosphofructokinase that uses pyrophosphate are classified as phosphofructokinase 2. So always remember there is a minor difference between phosphofructokinase 1 and phosphofructokinase 2. Phosphofructokinase is a tetramer. This means it has four subunits. The overall molecular weight of this enzyme is 340 kilodaltons. The subunits of this enzyme are arranged in such a way that one half of the enzyme binds with the substrate while the other half of the enzyme binds regulators such as ATP or AMP. In simple words, one is the substrate binding site which converts substrate into product, while the other site is the regulatory site which regulates the activity of this enzyme. Now, this regulation is very important. The enzyme phosphofructokinase is a major enzyme that regulates glycolysis. It decides whether the glycolysis reaction will proceed or not. So, when the ATP concentration in the cell is high, ATP inhibits this enzyme. And if AMP concentration in the cell is high, then AMP stimulates this enzyme. So when the concentration of ATP is low, the enzyme has low KM value. This means this enzyme can efficiently function even at low concentration of fructose 6-phosphate. When the concentration of ATP in the cell is high, the Km value of this enzyme increases. This means this enzyme now requires high concentration of substrate to function. In simple words, high concentration of ATP act as an inhibitor for this enzyme. And besides ATP, the other factor that regulates this enzyme is the pH. Acidic pH act as an inhibitor for this enzyme. So this is how the enzyme phosphofructokinase is regulated. And this enzyme is important because it regulates the overall glycolysis.